I just wanted to go over a little bit of the backstory of my testicular cancer. Um, maybe I can get help get somebody else into the doctor. So about two or three years ago, I noticed something weird going on with my left nut and the people around me then really wanted me to go to the doctor, but I was too afraid. Um, I've been too afraid to, to touch it and because I didn't want to know the worst case scenario. But I had looked up the, the symptoms of testicular cancer and I knew that back pain was one of them. So probably about two or three months ago now, I noticed something in my back when I would sit against a chair. I could feel like this weird lump in my back. It didn't necessarily hurt, but it was, it was pretty uncomfortable. Between the lump in my back and binge watching Grey's Anatomy, I figured it was probably time to, to go get checked out. So I went to my uh, primary care physician. She diagnosed me with epididymitis, which I guess is the inflammation of some kind of thing, epididymis. Took blood and prescribed an antibiotic for the epididymis epididymitis, but she also, just to be safe, ordered an ultrasound. So I went to the hospital a couple days later and I had an ultrasound and it was weird, but it, was, it wasn't it was that that bad to have the jelly put on my nuts. And then the lady like searched around with the little thingy. Um, I asked her if it was a boy or a girl. She didn't think that was funny. The blood came back and, and everything was good. They didn't test for tumor markers though. They just tested for, uh, I don't even know medical jargon. And then a few days later, the doctor called and said that they saw a mass inside my left nut. So of course I was pretty terrified. Um, she set up an appointment with a urologist. Um, so I went, I think I went on June 10th because that was three days after my birthday. The urologist, he basically just said what they saw in the ultrasound. And he said, yep, there's definitely a mass. Um, it's most likely cancer. Obviously it was very terrifying. And he said, I had a cancellation for tomorrow at noon. So if, you know, I'll have my assistant check out your insurance at the hospital where I'm gonna be tomorrow. And if everything clears out, then uh, we'll get you into surgery tomorrow. So then his nurse came in and, and took blood, um, which is when they were gonna test for tumor markers and stuff like that. So they did that and then his scheduling lady came back and said, all right, you're good for tomorrow at, at noon. Showed up, checked in. Then I went back for surgery. I only had a couple more hours with with two nuts. That was the first time I kind of posted about it on social media and, it, and everybody knew what was going on. So I had the surgery. After that, he ordered a CAT scan and an x-ray, which I did. And uh, the, the CAT scan was for my abdomen region and then the x-ray was for my chest. Results came back. There was a uh, swollen lymph node in my back, which is what I was feeling when I sat against things. The x-ray came back fine, so there was nothing going on in my lungs or in my um, heart, so that was good news. But he ordered a chest CT as well. So I did that, and luckily that came back clean too. Meanwhile, the, the surgeon set up an appointment with a uh, an oncologist. So I went to the oncologist, and he basically said that, yes, it is cancerous, and that I would have to start chemo. So that's basically where we're at right now. I have to do it Monday, I have to do chemo Monday through Friday, four to six hours a day, every third week for four cycles. I start July 15th and I'll finish, uh, I think September 20th, as long as everything stays on that exact schedule, which it's possible he said for it to change, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. I think he's treating me with extra chemo just to make sure that he gets it the first time so that this is the only time I have to do chemo. I'm a little scared to be bald, but I'm trying to figure out a way to shave my head for a good cause, and I'm working on that now. But if not, I'll sh I want to shave it before chemo anyway, just so that it's my decision. So uh, that's where we are.